If you're looking to buy or sell, you come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Can you answer some questions for me? Maybe. What do you want to know? Where does the Crimson Caravan Company get its merchandise? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Really? Because I haven't seen any. Unless I'm mistaken, obviously. Do, do your caravans ever have trouble from bandits? Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. Hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger if things settle down. Yeah. Where are you from? A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. Okay, let's talk about something else. Need anything else? Uh, show me what you have. Can do. Quite a lot of money, for one. Which is great, because I have quite a lot of stuff. Uh, this guy's got... Uh, weapons. Armor, say... Well, we got some interesting things over here. Radiation suit. And some aid. Magazines. Unfortunately, it's all magazines for aggressive stuff, so it's not really what I'm looking for. And mods. Nothing for me, though. Goodbye. See ya. Good money to be made here, though. Ringo. McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing. That's don't, for sure. Don't act like you don't recognize me. Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in Good Springs. Wh who's in charge around here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. Hmm, so, uh, what's next for you? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way, so it'll be up to me to get things started. Okay, goodbye. I'll see you around. Maybe, if I ever come back over here. I don't know what missions I'll have. I wonder if... Well, pre-war money in the dumpsters. That's that's Fallout 3 for you. It's not even Fallout New Vegas, it's just Fallout 3. Uh, I wonder if McLafferty is in here. Excuse me. No. Hi. You got a radio? I don't like that. I don't like radios. They make noise. Alice McLafferty. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll just look around your office for a little bit. Don't mind me. Um, there's a lot of things in here. Locked and whatnot. Excuse me. Uh, ooh, I see... Well, it's probably some... What is it? Ooh. It's critical hits increase, I believe, from True Police Stories. <laughs> it's kind of interesting that it's in the toilet. Oh, boy. Anyway. Oh, we got a computer. Uh, excuse me. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. She's right there, dude. She's literally... Your employees. Excuse me. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company, New Vegas branch. What may I do for you? I'd like to know more about the Crimson Caravan Company. Certainly. What would you like to know? How long have you been in business? The Crimson Caravan Company has been in business for over 130 years. We're partially responsible for the progress in the NCR. Does the Crimson Caravan have any competition? Well, the gunrunners continue to dominate the weapons market. And the Mormon traders from New Canaan control the majority of the northern routes. This is not a question, but I will remark on how well-dressed you are for this place. Normally, I oversee company operations at the Hub in California. However, the New Vegas branch has been underperforming in recent years. Given the conditions here, it's not hard to see why. I'll change all that soon enough. Hmm. Well, I don't have any more questions. Let's talk about something else. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, I'm looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. 
She says caravanners. I thought she was caravaneers, but maybe that's a different thing. Um, yeah, you know, it's, I'll take it. What, what do I need to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Sounds good to me. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. You can depend on me is the name of the quest. Um, but I was... Yeah, I, uh... The quest here is, is more to do with, uh... I thought maybe it was to get Cassidy's papers or something. But it has more to do with working for the Crimson Caravan than anything else. Um, so I guess that's it. I mean, apart from maybe getting into this computer? Shh. Oh, yeah. Ah, dang it. My science skill. It sucks. Wait a minute. Didn't I get a sciencey sciencey thing? Where is it? 44. No, I need the books. Ah, oh, well, we can we can we can come back later. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Well, I'm not laying low. I'm getting out of here. So, uh, we need to go into Camp McCarran. Well, we needed to go into Camp McCarran anyway. That is where the NCR lives. But also, we need to go deal with Benny, the checkered suit man. Is that how we call it? The man in the checkered suit? So we need to confront Benny at the Tops Casino. Now we saw all the... That's Freeside. Wait a minute, there's an entrance up here? Is that a gate? Why would that be over there? There is a gate over here. There's people, for sure. Because uh, the other one was also to Freeside. Excuse me. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? <laughs> you don't even know. Um, hey, man, what are you up to? Bye. Well, if you thought... Hi. I, If you thought so, the Oblivion dialogues were awkward, that one was the awkwardest. So this also goes to Freeside. Let me look at our map. Yeah, both of them go to Freeside. This is just sort of like the back entrance. Let's go through the other one, though. These guys don't... They're, they're not really... They don't say anything. Watch yourself. There's some unsavory types about. <laughs> that's a fun. That's a fun thing. That is a big tower. It's the one that we see from far away. And we are in Freeside. This place is looking worse for wear, my god. Which is great, by the way. This is like what Fallout is supposed to be. To see these things, these are the buildings that you find in Fallout 1 and 2. That's it. That's It's everything above the first floor. You seen Gord around? Gord? No. Everything above the first floor is destroyed. Ow! Why are you poking me? I didn't poke you, I clicked. My god. People are... People are sensitive up in this town. There's a freaking crater! And there's drunks going about. I think it's also nighttime. Max. I think the drunks and Stacy. Oh, these are kids. Let them sleep for right now. Uh, I think the the drunks were shown in the intro cinematic. Everybody's sleeping over here. The intro cinematic had a bunch of people being drunk. And then there's that uh, NCR sniper who shoots a, I assume a can member, out of the, forever. Because it's a headshot from far away. Mick and Ralph's. Yeah, see you later. Who are these fellas? Yep. Just some thugs. No, this thug has a name. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. What are you selling? He's what I got. He's got... He doesn't have what I need. I need magazines, dude. Bye. Yeah. See you later. I need magazines. Whoa. Trouble. Whoa. Local gossip. What is going on? Had enough? <laughs> what is going on? Freeside thugs. With a sheriff's hat. I'll take that, but... 
that th both of them had sheriff's hat. That one doesn't anymore, well, for many reasons. Is that is that how that were? I think they were attacking me. Dixon just bailed. What is that up there? No, I think it's still bailing. Is that Dixon? Yeah, it is. Let him go. He's gonna be fine. Acme reality. No, it's an old pre-war thing. Everything is blown out. Um, got some more people over here. Oh, that's a ghoul. Squatter. Squatter doesn't say anything. Do you? Weird robot. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Oh, Eddie. Oh, you haven't... Seen, yeah, that's not the first person that says they, they haven't seen somebody like Eddie or something like Eddie. Yeah, there's just some squatters over here. So where is the Topps Casino? Where would we know the Topps Casino to be? It's Oh, it's not in this area. It's further in. King Gang Member. Can't wait to hit the Wrangler tonight. Just me and my favorite girl. What's going on? Why are we in combat again? Watch out! Whoa! What? A giant rat! Is there anybody else? It's more free side thugs. What a zany thing. Let's that kill this guy. There we go. I took its leg off. Yeah, you don't need to shoot anymore. Unless that's more? No, these are just children. <laughs> wow. What is wrong with Freeside? He's kind of cute, isn't he? What? I don't uh, I don't know what she was referring to. And the rat running around. Oh my god, this place. Wait a minute. The kids Hello. Hello, these are just gamblers and people. The kids are running around after the rat? Hi there. Hello. Bye. What? <laughs> That's what I ask. What's the... Oh, they're eating the rat. Thanks, mister. No problem. Right. Maybe that's what she was referring to as he's he's kind of cute. What's your problem? What's your problem? You're the one that run, runs around with knives, killing rats and eating them. Old Las Vegas Mormon State Historical Historic Park, and they're from there. Running around in the middle of the night. <laughs> what a weird thing. Dixon is still doing his thing. Uh. Well, let's. Uh, excuse me. Hi. Beatrix Russell. Howdy. Howdy to you too. Who are you? I've been around a while, currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred, and the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Your kind of fun? So these are the followers of the Apocalypse. What are you doing with them? I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't let you drink. Uh, I've, I've, I bet you've seen a lot over the years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Sounds like you're a bit of a dom, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? I 
can't say anything about that. Let's talk about something else. What do you have in mind? Uh, do you got any advice to share? Time you enjoy wasting isn't wasted time. I like that. Any more? Longing makes the heart grow fonder. But I've always been a fan of hogtying my lovers to make sure they can't escape. Right, of course, because of the thing that we... The pinching and squealing. Uh, any more? Maybe less uh, about uh, the BS, BDSM? Feed a man for free, and he'll be back asking for more. Feed a man a bullet. You won't hear from him again. Okay, well, I guess I prefer the BDSM thing. Uh, I have some questions. And I may have answers. I think you, you do. Tell me about Freeside. What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. Wait, so y'all come from the area of Lucky 38 because the robots pushed everybody out? That's an important thing about the life of New Vegas, as it were. Um, so what's your opinion of Mr. House after that? Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot, I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews, until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. Really? And we can't follow up on that? So he's been 200 years... Right. I'll let you think what you want to think about that. Uh, and we'll keep that in the back of our minds, because we are going to deal with the, with Mr. House pretty soon. Because he's a pre-war uh, pre person. In fact, based on a real person uh, called... Uh, I don't remember the name, but still. What about the Kings? What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though, he's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think of the NCR? I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. What about the followers of the, of the apocalypse? I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. Hmm. <laughs> what do you know about the Vangrafts? Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one. But she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. Okay, let's talk about something else. What did you want to know? Uh, it seems like we have found the, the person who, uh, who has the most to say about this town. I mean, we're going to be here for a while. Not Maybe not right now, in the next uh, few uh, hours of gameplay. But uh, we're definitely going to spend a lot of time in, in New Vegas because there's a lot of stuff in here. Got any, got any more advice to share? Good, bad. The guy with the gun makes the rules. Right. Okay, goodbye. Bye. So, Howard Hughes, by the way, is the name of the real-life person who's, uh, who... Hey. Who Mr. House is based on. So the kids are just coming in, and this is the place of the followers of the apocalypse. Let's look at the map, because the map is actually kind of complicated up in here. So we got the north and the east gates. So I assume there's going to be a west gate. Uh, we heard about the followers of the apocalypse for the first and only time, if I remember correctly, back down in Helios 1. 
And, uh, and that was that. We didn't really do anything about, about the, uh, about the, what that dude asked us to do, but, excuse me. Hey, when people have got nothing left, they can always turn to the followers. Yeah, he seems like, it seems to be just the doctor. And we have Roy up in here, Ferris, and Wayne. They don't wake up. Maybe we should take a nap. Excuse, excuse me, I... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> I stole his bed. Okay, so, yeah, we should take a nap, because every, uh, everybody's sleeping. And in here, at least, I'm not gonna be attacked by the roaming thugs of Freeside. Ah. Get out of the way, chum. What? Wait a minute! He stole from me! What in the hell? Dude! Get lost, creep. Oh. Whoa. He circled back he circled around me. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that. You've been caught pickpocketing. Over here! Oh, I think he's gonna die. Well Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. Totally fine. Definitely not a criminal at all. How's it going? It's going really well. Definitely didn't just kill somebody and burn them to death or their corpses. Absolutely not. Uh, I am flabbergasted, honestly. It's kind of complicated. Hi! Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. You need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. It seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. You've got yourself a deal. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? You know, things seem pretty rough here in Freeside. <laughs> you don't even know. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need. But no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Is there anything I can help I can do to help? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, Tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. You say, uh... Well, if I wanted to calm things down in Freeside, where would I start? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally. And some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Hmm. You said something about helping addicts? Yes. Old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Tell me about Bill. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. What about Jacob? The Garrett's hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. 
Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Hmm. So where should I start looking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. I'll see what I can do for them. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. Uh, can I talk about something else? What do you want to talk about? Um, I have some medical supplies to drop off. Great. What do you have? Uh, Fixer. I sold a bunch of it. How much do you have to donate? All of it. Well, I only have the one. Thanks. Anything else? Yes. Uh, none of the other ones. Thanks for the donation. Every bit goes toward helping Freeside. I'll... I am... I shouldn't have sold the Fixer. Fixer doesn't really do much. Um, I think it's only like... No, is it? No, I, I sold the Hydra, not the Fixer. I sold the Hydra. Hydra is temporary. And Fixer is not. Um, uh, do you sell medical supplies? We're pretty short-handed as it is, but I suppose I could spare a few items. Including Red X and Red Away. So I could... Uh, I could buy them and just give her for the experience. Uh, she does have a lot of money. Ooh, recharge a pistol. Go for it. And a bunch of Sheriff's hat that I definitely didn't... It's fine. No, people are good. Uh, let's talk about Freeside, I think. What did you want to know? What's all the fuss about the water pump? Bill Bronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. It was a major improvement for the community. But lately, the Kings have started charging locals to use it, and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. Yeah, who are the Kings? They've been Freeside's gang for the past five years or so. Ever since Mr. House and his three families pushed everyone else out of Vegas. They've done a lot of good for the community, but that seems to be changing. The flood of NCR squatters has been an affront to them. I guess that explains the situation with the water pump. Usually, the king wouldn't let his crew bully folks around like that. What do you know about Meek and Ralph? I know they sell a lot of guns, as if that's what Freeside needs. I hear Mick handles the guns. No idea what Ralph does. The ammo, maybe? I've also heard about the Van Graffs. Tell me about them. Oh, them. They sell energy weapons, which are very popular with better-heeled prospectors looking to explore the wastes. Stay clear of them. Brother and sister are both psychopaths, though at least Gloria is rational. Jean-Baptiste likes killing. What's the Atomic Wrangler? A den of iniquity. The Garrets do more than their share to keep the locals drunk or high enough to stay lazy. Their thugs, on the other hand, they keep wired on chems to stay dangerous. What is it with Freeside and brother-sister psychopath teams? Huh. <laughs> ah, well, let's talk about something else. What did you want to know? What is this place? The Old Mormon Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the Apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. W who are the followers of the Apocalypse? We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. What do you do here? The followers of the Apocalypse aren't just interested in research. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here. But the Kings quickly took control of the pump. Mm, yeah, I'll take care of that. Or try to, anyway. What do you want to talk about? I think that's it. That. Goodbye. Right. <laughs> she doesn't end the dialogue normally. 